what's up guys welcome back to will of ddt uh today we have round three of our top cut of sully's abodes uh case tournament uh looks like we have ryan hartman and john reuter uh ryan we know very well he is a very good player last set he was playing moria multiple top 32 finishes at regionals and yep. of course uh top four finish as well getting him his serial as well as his Nats um, invite. Invitation. Yeah, yep. yeah. Congrats to Ryan. Exactly. Uh, and up against John, who bro was grinding. Yeah, yep. Ryan, I, I Ryan was grinding all, all, all of set five and six. Um, so yep. well deserved, well earned, um, and he's become pretty much a very well known player at all these top, um, top events. For sure. And I don't know who John is. is. Yeah, we are not sure who John is, but he made it to the second to or the top three, top four. It's the top four now, right? Yeah. This would be top eight. This would be top eight. No, no. It's yeah. Not. Okay. Well. Oh, round three. This is round three. I'm sorry. Three. So, You're yeah, right. It should be top, top four. Top four of top cut. Um, All right. But without further ado, let's get started. Yes, sir. All right, so we've got uh, Ryan running his Luchi deck here. Pretty, pretty standard transition for most Moria players from last set to be moving into Luchi this set. We've got John over here rocking Bonnie. Um, man, I was surprised, man. The little Bonnies that could. We had two Bonnies that made it into uh, the top cut in this case tournament. Again, this is this crowd is you know they're no slouches. Like these these are like very very competitive players. So like. Two Bonnies making it in was a very pleasant surprise to me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, Obipity, if we've mentioned this throughout the course of uh, these these games, but uh, this case tournament, it was a little crazy. Sully threw this case tournament on the very first day that OP7 was legal, or like exactly. Saturday, second so like day. The, the, day the second, yeah, the day after. People, like, people were legit, you know, showing up and scrambling to, like, get yeah. their cards, yeah. like, on the spot, which was crazy, but also kind of fun the chaos was a little fun oh yeah so yeah a lot of these people are playing their decks physically for the first time ever and you know the sim handles a lot of stuff for you there's plenty of mistakes to be made mm -hmm. um but also it was just impressive to see how well some of these players performed despite not having touched this deck ever until today um yeah, so that I was mean, really cool that, i think just the fact that a lot of these players playing these decks for the first time and being yeah. able to pilot them as well as they did really just speaks to the level of competition. For um, sure. Right? It's, it, I mean, obviously, it's, it is a lot of practice, and a sim does help a lot. But yep. being able to pick up a deck for the first time, is it's, it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. No, not at all. Um, all right. So it looks like both of them went for Mulligan here. I actually didn't catch who uh, won the die roll. Uh, but we'll see off, soon enough. If we didn't see it, they might have been off screen. No, I think they rolled. I think oh, they rolled. We just we were just too busy glazing Ryan. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so, all right. So they both got five life leaders here, and um, one Don on Ryan. He's passing, so he didn't see a spandum. And John is taking his two Don, resting the body. Uh, pretty classic stuff here. We're gonna see what he grabs, and he's getting a Basil. That's mm -hmm. exactly the card we want in this matchup. Yeah, Basil Hawkins, 6 cost, 7k. Sticks into Bonnie, probably. Blocker uh, can't be KO, or can't oh. be removed by any effects. And yeah. yeah, Ryan just needs to shuffle better, Ben. Just, what is that? Tough. Two, two Tempest Kicks off his first uh, Luchi? That is oh. horrendous, That's actually. Terrible. But he does see stage, so he's chilling. Um, until he sees true. the Hawkins, at least. True, true, true. No units to speak of, but the stage is a nice start. Um, so he swung six, John is, uh, yep. oh yeah, John took it and then he swung five, Ryan took it, and then he played a Uruj, which allows him to restand a Dawn at the end of the turn. Nasty, nasty card. That really card is card so card valuable. Incredible yeah. card in Bonnie. Blocker that just makes your leader ability live is so damn good. And we're already getting rid of that blocker. Um... He's lowering the cost. He's trying to bait John into just blocking it because he thinks he's going to lose it anyway. But John says, nah, I I'm going to make you kill it. And sure enough, yeah. uh, Ryan does. Smart by John, smart by John. I mean, yep. pretty standard Luchi Bonnie plays. Yeah, yeah. Another Nothing crazy. For you. So in our tier list for OPO7, we had 
Lucci and La, right? 1A, yeah. 1B. Now that it's been after this case tournament, and now we're pretty much like almost two weeks into the meta. Uh, yeah. Would you rearrange that in any way? Would you add Bonnie? Would you add Anel? Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Honestly, one thing I'm realizing, I don't think I would change our rankings too much overall. I think they're still in the same place. But in my experience playing this meta, one comment I will make is that I feel like the gap between those top like five or six decks is not very large. Like all of them sure. legitimately have a shot. You know, we thought Bonnies would get clapped by Luchis, mm -hmm. clapped by Laws. And good Bonnies are actually, you know, it's closer, like sure they're disadvantaged, but it's closer to like a 50-50, like, you know, 45, 55 or something. Um, a lot of the, like, there are a few just outright terrible matchups, um, but yeah, for the vast majority of bad matchups in this meta can be made up for with, you know, drawing a good hand and just being a really good pilot. So that's one, like, kind of pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, so I wouldn't rearrange our list per se, our tier list, but I will say that these leaders are actually all very, very viable, which is a great thing. That's a very healthy meta. I I would, however, I don't know if I would change. I like. I think. I think Luchi and Law are still the only two S tiers, in my opinion. Sure. Um, sure. But I do think Bonnie is higher. Should be higher than, at is A. Higher in A tier than we originally put it, because I think originally That's we fair. had Anel as like the best A tier deck. Uh, Anel yep. and Bakula Luffy, but I think Bonnie has a very good case for being, um, like the top A tier deck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I agree with that. That's legit. And uh, looking at what John's playing here, we can see that he realizes his units are going to be KO'd. So yeah. he's just trying to put him to work and get Ryan down to a lethal state really quickly. So he's he's he rested that Lucci with his Hody Jones, and then he just swung straight into life with the exactly. Hody. Um, he's think, like he's. I, I think, think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, because he, he, I mean, Hody is a freaking incredible card to begin with. Um, oh, yeah. Like, it took five sets for Green. I think we were talking about this the other day, and that is, but it took five sets for Green to get a rush card. Yeah. But when they got that rush card, it became the best rush card in the game. Insane, like, bro. So being good. Being able to rest two cards, one of them, or, or even potentially Don. Yeah. Um, and then a 7 8 rush is just insane. Crazy, dude, for real. All right, so it looks like he's doing a Moria into Rebecca. Rebecca to yeah. grab a Helmeppo back to hand, but not play it. And um, I mean, if John has another Hody here, he's in a really good position. Yeah, I am just confused as and to. Oh yeah, Ryan just doesn't have much in trash. I was yeah, wondering why Ryan didn't revive a second thing, but yeah, it's just he doesn't have options. Yeah, he had to play those Luchis. I think he may have played those Luchis a little too early sure yeah and i think that's what john was trying to get him to do which yeah. is not a bad strategy he's like you know what show me the luchis early and then you don't have them for late game um, because if he kills that luchi then he knows that it becomes a, a moria tool so maybe that's another reason he didn't swing at the luchi last turn is like i don't want it in your trash i'd rather it be on your board mm -hmm. um he's playing the eight cost kid into a oh, into Rosenante. fair enough very nice i was just about to say eight cost kid not that great against a removal deck absolutely with rosanante up he that the eight cost kid stands chance oh yeah oh yeah yeah no that is really good rosinante is going to protect all rested characters from ko so no ko's on the kid or the hody until that rosinante has been taken care of mm -hmm. uh, which luchi even luchi can't usually manage two ko's per turn i mean he can but like you know it yeah. requires a lot of cards from hand um so yeah that's that's rosinante single-handedly can really protect your board and then you see ryan just going moria into rebecca and then picking mm -hmm. up uh the 2k counter cock i think yeah so he see his yeah. trash is pretty empty i think he just has that one rebecca in there so yeah he i think he's trying to ko anything uh okay let's go that's, another that's hody so wait is okay he rested rebecca and moria all right yeah. all right and, and he takes a life which is actually good when you've got the kid and the blocker up. Yeah. You yeah. want you want to take that life. You you want to be able to protect your kid. You want more counter enhance. So he's going nine at life, kid. Let's see, let's 
see if Brian takes it. If he takes this, he could. I mean, John might have game here. Honestly, yeah. I mean, with two 8Ks on board, I, I see what Ryan... Sometimes you just, you know, the best play you have is the best play you have. Um, so maybe he just straight up didn't have the stuff to KO, but um, I get why he wanted to go for that Moria as early as possible, just establish a big body. But I think he may have better spent his Dawn trying to kill that first Hody because leaving it on board is just like, like, geez, like John's board has really yeah. just spiraled out of control now. He's got, you know casual 9k swings coming off of these three 8k units 9k swings he has one life left and i don't know how many cards in hand but i don't know if he's going to be able to remove he's going 10 at kid john is deciding whether he wants to rest yeah. the other moria yeah. rest the rebecca that's the right move I think that's the right move. even though it is tempting to rest that rebecca and then have lethal next turn i, I still think you have to protect Ooh, he has to drop three 1ks to protect that kid that's not that's not nice. Now it's tough, man. The The thing is, if you... Rosinante is weird because he is a blocker a, as well as having that KO protection effect. So it's mm -hmm. like, you can use him to block, but if you do, then like everything's not protected from KO anymore. So exactly. it's like, it's this really... It's this waiting game. You have to wait till they spent enough Dawn that you can safely use that Rosinante blocker. At this point, honestly... Yeah, okay, okay. he's just shoring up with blocker that is nasty yeah, he's, that's ooh. It's blockers galore blockers he's galore filling up with trash with do you know what the other card he trashed was i saw the hina i don't know what the other one was i don't i uh, yeah i don't know actually okay but but yeah it looks like ryan is okay there we go to spend them yeah all right so he passes on that john John, he had a third Hody here. We if John has that's probably third game. game. Yeah. Most likely. <laughs> I feel like every time I look at a body match, it's, it's all of us always just coming. Yeah, it's like if he had a Hody here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they always do. They always have the Hody. Yeah, I don't know. We can talk to irrelevant about that. I, I know he does not have that kind of luck. Um. So John is really deciding. This is one of those scary turns. I'm not gonna lie because Ryan's hand is pretty big i can't really tell actually um yeah Five it looks like ryan one. has four cards in hand Can you if see he a, has a 10 drop oh, okay so he 5k 8k oh yeah, yeah. very nice yeah. 8k do ryan do you take it? yeah yep is he blocking Ooh. And he's just... Did Ryan just scoop? Yeah, Ryan scooped. There's nothing to do. I mean, he that's lost fair. all of his yeah, units. That's fair. Yeah. Um, wow. I mean, that's tough, though. Not having yeah. the counter for at, for even one of those 8k swings is tough. If he, if he had the counter, he was fine. Because he yeah. could have just gone in on a Sabo swing, I think. Yeah, oh, exactly. Actually, no. Did John still have one life? I don't remember. John I think John still one have... life, yeah. Oh okay, yeah, so then even then Ryan would not have won unless he ra magically plays like Rush Rush Lucci in there or something. <laughs> yeah. But um, wow. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Props to John, great game. Um, uh, yeah. And unfortunate for Ryan, you know he's a great player, but you know sometimes the card you just don't get the cards you need. Yeah, man. Looking at that game, I have to imagine he was he was a little bricked because oh, there yeah. were just he... so many turns where he just didn't KO something, and exactly. like that once or twice that's acceptable with Lucci, but like not KOing like you know a, a Hody Jones and just leaving it there to you know that that's that's pretty crazy so I have to imagine Ryan was a little bricked up there but uh yeah well played by both these players like you said it was fun to watch and is that the last match before the finals Obipity? yes sir our next all one right the finals. sick sick I am very excited to see that um yeah guys we will see you in the finals uh, hope to catch you in the next one peace